you know, what their agenda is about what they what they want to do and what industry they're in. Um, to me, that's really important to know what industry they're in, right? Because it keeps me from being confused. It keeps me from being all over the place or whatnot. Like, it keeps me knowing who I want to talk to. And it's just really important for me to know who I want to talk to, what is important to them, what are the key things they want to key on, key in on. And yeah, it's just really important. So we're going to be talking about how to, how to do this, right? Uh, First thing you want to do is just write down the things that you like, right? It's always good to be talking to people about things you like. So if you like sports, for example, again, talk about sports. Us is technology. Us is also marketing, right? We love those two areas, so we want to keep those two tied in. But know what you like. So start writing those things down. You know, it's always good to stay in things that you like, things you're passionate about. You're passionate about sports or marketing, whatever the case, write those things down and try to keep it to two or three of them. Sometimes you can't keep it to one because some industries are so niche, like aerospace, like there's some cities and some areas that just just are going to be hard to get traction in aerospace. And you could still get traction, though, because the world's global. It's just aerospace is such a niche market. But if you, you're into aerospace and you're into something else, too, that can go along with it, then you can kind of, you know, start niching into that market so you can know who you're talking to, right? Very important to know exactly who you're talking to, right? Super important. But how do you tie technology with this, right? That's something really important, too. So you're not just kind of out there shooting blind. Right, you want to tie your technology into this. So, how you tie it into this? Right, you got your social media pages. We already went over all this. You want to search on Google, right, and social media pages. But go to Google and ter- search the top, you know, one hundred companies or experts in in that niche. So. Whatever that niche is, you're going to search for those areas, right? You're going to search the top 100 in those areas. And you're going to search them and you're going to find them and and you're going to start cataloging them. Those, These are the kind of brands and companies you want to follow. That's how we're using technology. You're using social media. So now you don't have to, you know, when you get on social media, you don't have to do guesswork. You know who your potential clients are because you searched them, right? Now using technology and social media to reach out to them, send them messages, put them on your stories, right? Say positive things about them because you can start searching for exactly who you want to work with, right? You can, it could be exactly who you want, right? So the offers can be more tailored to them, right? So now you know who you're looking for. Now you can tailor your offers and then you start making offers to them to work with you, get on your podcast, whatever it is that you offer to start getting data. So if you reach out to, let's say, you know, 500 and you don't get any, any customers from that, rather it's from social media, rather it's whatever the case, then you have to start, you know, looking at your offer and seeing if it's that good, looking at your lead magnet and seeing how good it really is. Like really getting your stuff narrowed down to the point where you believe that it's really as good as you say it is you can actually market it in that way that's how you want it so you know that's how you want to get it built these are the you know kind of ways that you want to do this it's not something you have to go crazy about or really stress about it's just something that you really need to pay close attention to and really get it narrowed in because once you get it that get that narrowed in like now the world's open to that industry like if you look at very successful brand Vlad TV that covers a lot of urban hip hop media and that now is getting 